I want to let you know I finally got to see Love and Vincent for the first time and um, needless to say it was very beautifully done very beautifully done the amount of time that they took to make this film was pretty impressive nonetheless about seven years plus Kickstarter financing in many ways it reminded me a lot of uh, the film Number Lisa that came out last year which was another adult anime film that was aimed at a lot more of a artsier educated audience but in many ways it was a little more different it was a bit more challenging in its presentation as the film specifically deals with the life of Vincent van Gogh and <coughs> his days of depression and his mood swings and all the testimonies that are being revealed from people that knew him and the people that were painted from his paintings uh, providing their exploration as to why he lost it and killed himself afterwards in many ways um, the film is kind of based on the whole Rashomon plot that Akira Kurosawa used in his famous Japanese film but also is a testimony to all the art historians who are curious about the life of the man himself and the origins behind it the only reason why I saw this in particular was because of the animation style was very distinctive and very lucid as this is the only film I am aware of that is was made entirely out of oil watercolor frames and paintings about 60,000 of them helped create this beautiful project but even amidst the visuals lies a story that is more or less specialist I think you have to be a bit more in tune with Vincent van Gogh and appreciate more of his paintings in order to like this and the ending kind of leaves a few question marks here and there but you know I'm going to forgive that because more importantly the way they also done it was that the character himself was a journalist he was trying to be investigative trying to find the story and I think that element about it because I'm a journalist myself made it fairly interesting in, it, in itself as far as anime films are concerned this year there haven't really been any of interest to me I won't be seeing Coco I won't be seeing any of the others or Despicable Me 3. The only anime film I saw this year was Lego Batman. But this is certainly a lot better than Lego Batman in terms of its uh, gravitas and the novelty factor. But it isn't as good as some of the anime films I've caught in the past few years, particularly even the adult animations last year like Anomalisa or some of the more obscure ones like Persepoli. I can't remember, but you get my idea. But if you are a fan of Van Gogh's works himself and the mystery behind it, if you love beautiful visuals, my grandmother would like this as well, you will love it too. It's a 12A certificate, PG-13 in the US for its suicide scene, infrequent moderate sex, and injury details. So uh, this one's not suitable for the children. Um, this one's more for mature audiences, as one would expect, but it isn't something like Sausage Party or South Park. Don't come into this thinking it's going to be something like that.